What's up guys? So for those of you who have been following the channel for a little bit, I have made quite a few videos documenting my first ever NAS build. And it started off as an HP Z400 workstation that I got off of eBay for $60. I then added four six terabyte hard drives to that, Iron Wolf drives. Um, and I used FreeNAS, it was my first ever time touching FreeNAS and the setup was super, super easy. So if you guys wanna see everything that got this FreeNAS system to where it is today, definitely check out the playlist. It will be in the description below and also in a card above. But let's move on to this video. I configured those four drives in RAID Z2, which netted me around 10 terabytes of usable storage that I could access from anywhere on my home network. So I could access everything on my desktop PC, on my Mac, wherever I needed to access those files, I could. And it has done fantastically well over the last year or so. And I've made quite a few upgrades to that system uh, over the past year. Uh, I upgraded adding an extra drive to the system, which now nets me around 15 terabytes of usable storage, put it in a new case. I put it in the Define R5 from Fractal Design, uh, which has allowed me for way more upgradability down the line and really awesome cooling as well. But I never touched the software pretty much at all besides configuring the pools at the beginning, all the, the basic administration stuff just to get the system up off the ground and running day in and day out. But that has all changed today and I finally decided to upgrade my FreeNAS 11.2 release up to TrueNAS Core. So I've been putting off this upgrade for a little bit. I was fine with all of the hardware upgrades. Those are super easy just from my past PC building experience and things like that. Upgrading RAM, upgrading hard drives, not too hard when it comes to just system uh, maintenance and system upgrades. But when it came to the software, I really didn't wanna do anything that was gonna prevent the uptime of the NAS. That would prevent me from accessing files that I would really need or for whatever reason cause a, a system failure or a system issue that I wouldn't be able to resolve with my limited knowledge. But after going through a lot of the community posts, uh, as well as now that it's been a stable release for quite some time, I, de I decided to make the change and an upgrade from FreeNAS 11.2 all the way up to TrueNAS, which has completely changed the user interface. The GUI looks awesome, as you can see behind me. Hopefully, and we'll jump in to the system to show you guys exactly what it took to get the upgrade in place. Hint, hint, super, super easy, probably easier than any of the hardware upgrades that I've made to the system. Um, but overall, everything else is very, very similar when it comes to pool setup, user setup, all the administration. But there are some key upgrades that came from the FreeNAS transition into TrueNAS, which is IX system sort of future way forward, future path forward for their entire stack. So let's go through some of those big changes that have come with TrueNAS Core or TrueNAS 12.0, whichever one you prefer. And starting off, I think the biggest feature upgrade for me was the addition of OpenVPN support directly within TrueNAS itself. I mean, before you would have to set up a jail within FreeNAS, get everything configured and set up from an OP OpenVPN standpoint inside of that jail, but now it's all pretty much built in to TrueNAS itself. So don't get me wrong, the configuration is still not super straightforward. There's a few steps going through certificates and setting up the OpenVPN client itself uh, and how you can then access that client and things of that nature, but it is much easier, much simpler than it was in the past. So that is a big upgrade for sure. There is also the addition of two-factor authentication. So you can add an authentication app, whether that's Google Authenticator or something else, in order to make the system slightly more secure for those who are accessing it. And overall, the biggest thing is just the, the complete overhaul of the, the architecture and everything that goes into the software itself. Things should run smoother, faster. ZFS got an upgrade, SMB got an upgrade. A lot of the major components of the software itself have gotten a big boost in performance. So those are the three main things for me that I, that pushed. So those are the three main things for me that really pushed me in the direction of finally upgrading from FreeNAS to TrueNAS. But let's jump into the actual upgrade. Like I said, super, super simple, but let's jump into the upgrade and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it on your system.
So to upgrade your free NAS server, what you're going to want to do is go into the system menu and then go in to the update sub menu. Now within there, you're going to be able to select which FreeNAS version you want to upgrade to. I already went from 11.2 to 11.3, so now we're just going to select TrueNAS 12.0, and then we're gonna hit download updates. Uh, then this brings up a little menu that allows you to save your configuration settings in case you want to apply them to a different machine. Uh, so we're just gonna do that, and then I'm going to hit apply updates and restart system after the download is complete and the update is done. So we're just going to download all of the files that come with the TrueNAS release. And then as soon as that is done, it will, of course, install that on to our boot drives uh, and then restart our FreeNAS system automatically. And of course, once it's done uh, installing and updating, then it will be a TrueNAS server at the end of the day. So this uh, took about five, 10 minutes not too long at all. Uh, it will then reboot once. And then after that, after it does a little bit of the install and updates, it will reboot a second time. And then that is when your system is finally done. It's updated uh, and then you can boot up as normal. So right now I, I just finish the download and the install and it immediately boots back into FreeNAS. So I just cut out all of the restarts and reboots and things like that. But now that we're booted in to Truna, as you can see, a really nice user interface. The GUI looks fantastic compared to the existing FreeNAS setup. So you get a whole bunch of information in regards to CPU memory, your pools, and any of your network interfaces as well. In terms of your pool setups and your network setups, user setup, all of that is the exact same as it was with FreeNAS, maybe just a slightly different look and things like that. But overall, very simple setup, like I said, and you get a whole bunch of added benefits in terms of performance and in terms of the overall ability to monitor your system. So like I had mentioned earlier, a super, super simple upgrade process, a few clicks of the mouse and you're pretty much done. System reboots itself, starts back up, and you are good to go. So overall, a really, really simple process that I probably should have done earlier, but I wanted to of course, make sure the community was happy with the release and everything was stable and working as intended. And now that I have it installed, everything has been working great for a few days now, and I have no complaints whatsoever. So if you're looking to either build your first NAS with TrueNAS or you're upgrading an old free NAS system to TrueNAS, I would definitely recommend the upgrade or using TrueNAS as your first build software. It works great and has a really, really great user interface. As you can see, everything is super simple to understand uh, and set up. And there are plenty of guides out there to set up your first TrueNAS build. It's very similar to all of my previous videos that documented the FreeNAS setup. So definitely be sure to check those out. If you have any other questions or comments, definitely leave those down below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.